All right, what's up, everybody? Let's do a high score run on the new Sunrise at the Tower. Uh, hello, Call Cookie. It just looks so much like Call from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to be going with Cinnamon Relay. We're going to be using the new malware um, treasure along with the ampoule and card treasure. Two fan favorites right here. Two treasures you should be maxing out if you haven't already maxed them out. They are being used a lot even in the trials as well not every trial but quite a few of them and i reckon you're going to get a decent score if you do max them out and use them pretty much everywhere so uh overall not too difficult this run i say that about every run though but then again maybe it's just me eh? Uh, i would say the hardest part about this run is getting uh, the dashes in the best places that you don't miss rainbow bears and making sure that you're not over jumping, especially like here. Like you do not want to jump there. You just want to like let uh, Bell Pepper glide down. Uh, so you're going to hit that box and you make the platform. Now it's not the end of the world if you miss it. Like you, you, can, you have enough invincibility to get over the ocean part. But to be safe, you know, just in case, you're going to want to hit the boxes and any buttons. And stuff like that. Unfortunately, a lot of the U's go in a waste right here because the pet does not collect them, so you have to wait. For the wonderful skill in order to collect as many as possible. Now, I'm not too sure if all these rain, no, not rainbow, alphabet jellies are hinting perhaps that like a, a different cookie should be used. I'm thinking maybe with Ion later, Wasabi, you get like a big magnet both with Pet and with Wasabi herself. So I'm guessing Ion and Wasabi. This map might be really good for collecting all those alphabet jellies. Massive uh, gain in points. Well, not massive, but I reckon it's going to be a, quite a substantial gain. So yeah. Overall though, I would not say there were any tricks per se with Bell Pepper per se. Uh, I missed the rainbow bear up there, but that is what it is. Remember to do a last jump here to collect as many peppers with the with bell pepper as possible, as you do not get any as many points if you collect them with cinnamon. Cinnamon has a little trick, and it is just a little trick, and I'll explain it when we get to the point. Going into bonus time, three six seven. I reckon that's pretty good. Uh, as you can see, my current score on this level is 509 and I actually changed the way I play it now I will tell you how I got 509 and how we're going to improve upon 509 to get more points uh, I think what's that seven million more so I, I would say it's it's definitely worth doing this cheeky trick uh, it's not uh, my a big brain trick at all it's not like wow nobody would have thought of that it's a basic thing and all you got to do is just knowing about cinnamon's skill uh basically so here we are approaching near the end of cinnamon's first life now here there is a thing a, a potion you can jump for that potion you can two-step jump for that and collect it do not Go for the revive. You get more points uh, for revive cards than you do for the first run. So, okay, so second wind cinnamon cards are worth more than first wind because you get the chance of the gold cards, which give you more points. And because there's like another health potion, you've extended the second wind by so much. Okay, so you're getting extra points. So you can double jump if, as long as you miss or just stop just before that first big potion and then second wind into it, you will be absolutely golden. All right. So follow that little simple trick with cinnamon and your score. Look at that. There we go. Five, well, close to 516, 515, but still. It's still a six to seven million improvement on my old score just by dying a little bit earlier with cinnamon. All right, though, that's going to be it. Until next time, bye-bye.